So picture this. You're a peasant who has to take the bus. Actually, you don't have to picture it, because you are. And when you get on, you want to take a seat. But there's some fog blocking you from doing so. Ugh. Today we talk about a more in-depth topic. Hold on to your butts, because we're talking about something that causes me large amounts of anxiety, annoyance, and makes me ask myself why human nature is so... Why do people sit on the bus like this? And by this, I mean... You know when people sit on the outside seat of the bus when the inside seat is vacant? Why do people do that? Why? It's like putting the milk before the cereals. And you don't want to have soggy cereals, do you? So you put in the cereals after the after you put the milk in and boom. You've got, you've got crunchy cereals. That's illegal. Showering, then doing sports. Putting your shoes on before your socks. Sitting on the outside seat first just makes everyone's lives harder. These are exactly the type of people that, when you have to get in or out the bus, move their legs one degree to let you inside the inside seat and expect you to phase right through their legs. And while you're carrying your usual backpack, groceries, and body bag, you have to drag it through them as well. There's also social interaction involved, hence the bus anxiety of having to ask them to move and stuff. But the worst part is the lack of logic. As I said, it's like putting ice food in your stomach and microwaving it inside of you, eating the instant noodles, then drinking the boiling soup, or coming and then putting the condom on. Something else about bus anxiety, and this only happens in the morning, is when I have to go to the top floor of the bus to get to school. Now I am conscious that only a few countries have double-decker buses, such as Hong Kong, UK, and India. Well, it has no double-decker buses, but there's people on the top. But basically, you can't stand on the top floor of the bus. And in mornings, everyone going to school is on the top floor. Since my stop is close to school, the top seats are often taken. So when you go to the top floor of the bus and there are no seats, you get a shame walk all the way back down the aisle to the first floor. I don't know why this is the social situation where I stress the most often, but I'd rather just stand on the first floor. If I'm never on the second floor of the bus, now you know why. If you have any instances of bus anxiety, please let me know in the comments why you're anxious for no reason at all. The video on the top right is the video YouTube thinks is most suitable for you. And share this with the homies. Bye! Almost 10% of my viewers are from India, so please stay safe on those buses.